Let me do one more tutorial to find the line integral of a circle. Example. Evaluate line integral if vector f equals to 2x minus y plus z into i plus x plus y minus z into j plus 3x minus 2y plus 4z into k. Where c is a circle x square plus y square equals to 9 in the xy plane and r equals to xi plus yj plus zk. The question says that there is a circle in xy plane which is x square plus y square equals to 9. Find the line integral of that circle. Solution Vector f has been given which is 2x minus y plus z into i plus x plus y minus z into j plus 3x minus 2y plus 4z into k. So since the circle is in xy plane, so we're going to find the line integral of that circle where r equals to xi plus yj plus zk. When you take its derivative, it equals to dr equals to dxi plus dyj plus dzk. Let me find the dot product of vector f and dr. This is the value of vector f and here is dr. Just take their dot product. When I take product between these two terms, i times i equals to 1. And product between these two terms, we are j times j equals to 1. And product between these two terms, we are k times k equals to 1. Since the circle is in xy plane, therefore we have nothing to do with the z. We're going to put 0 here. And obviously wherever there is 0 variable, just put 0 which equals to 2x minus y into dx plus x plus y into dy. This is the final value of dot product of vector f and dr. The next thing is to use the parametric equation. Let's use parametric equation for the circle x squared plus y squared equals to 3 squared. 9 equals to 3 squared. This is the circle x squared plus y squared equals to 3 squared or 9 where the parametric equation says that x equals to 3 cos theta. When I take derivative on both sides, it equals to dx equals to minus 3 sin theta d theta. Also y equals to 3 sin theta. Take derivative on both sides to have dy equals to 3 cos theta d theta. Theta varies from 0 to 2 pi. So from 0 to 2 pi is the limit of this integration. Look at here, I just substituted the value of x, y, dx, and dy, where I replace x by 3 cos theta and dx by minus 3 sine theta d theta. Also, y has been replaced by 3 sine theta and dy by 3 sine theta d theta. That's how I got this equation. Now I'm going to simplify this equation, which ranges from 0 to 2 theta and simplify it further to have minus 3 cos theta times sine theta plus 9 into sine square theta plus cos square theta d theta. Look at here. Can I write sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1? This is one of the basic trigonometric formula and you must remember that it equals to 1. Just put 1 here to have minus cos theta times sine theta plus 9 d theta. To simplify this equation, multiply and divide minus cos theta times sine theta by 2. To have minus 9 over 2 times 2 cos theta times sine theta plus 9 d theta. There is a formula which says that 2 cos theta times sine theta equals to sine 2 theta. I just replace 2 cos theta times sine theta by sine 2 theta. Simplify it further and finally I have 1 minus 1 over 2 times sine 2 theta d theta. Let me integrate this equation to have theta minus 1 over 2 times minus cos theta over 2. Expand the limits and finally I have 9 times 2 theta which equals to 18 theta. So this is the final line integral value of a circle in xy plane.